in today's data structure class we will see dq dq is nothing but double ended queue from second unit so uh, in this class we will see the definition of dq types of dq and some of the operations like insertion at front deletion from front insertion at rare and deletion from rare after that uh, the is full is empty these are common for all the structures and then we will see the applications of dq First, let us see what is DQ. DQ is nothing but double ended queue. It is also a linear data structure, but it supports both operations at both ends. That is, insertion and deletion can be done at both ends. So, here we can insert in the front side and delete. Delete at the front side. Here, insert at the rear side and delete delete at the rear cell okay so the insertion and deletion operation can be performed on both front end and rear end okay but this is not possible in queue normal queue the queue is uh, first in first out structure in which we can insert only in the rear side and delete only in the front side okay so this is normal Q operation. Uh, here, the DQ can be implemented using arrays or linked list depending on the requirements and constraints. Okay, like normal Q, the DQ also can be implemented by using both arrays as well as linked list. Next, let us see the types of DQ. And there are two types of DQ based on the restrictions. The first one is input restricted DQ and second one is output restricted DQ. Okay, first let us see the input restricted DQ. In input restricted DQ, the insertion can be taken place at only one end. Okay, and because in another end, input is restricted, but deletion can be performed at both ends. Okay, see in this queue, suppose if it is front, then insertion can be taken place only in the front, and rear side we cannot insert any item. Suppose if it is uh, another type for example this is front and this is rear here we can insert only <coughs> we can insert only at the front side and we cannot insert at the rear side okay so this is input restricted dq either one side we can insert the data item okay but deletion can be performed at both ends see here we can delete delete but insertion cannot be performed at both ends right the second one is output restricted DQ. Here, the restriction on only the deletion operation. Okay, that means insertion can be performed on both ends. See here, in both end we can insert the front side as well as the rear side, but deletion can be done at only one end. See in this queue, the insertion can be done on both end, but deletion can be performed on one end. That means the deletion can be performed on any one end of DQ, but insertion we can do at both the ends, right? So, this is output restricted DQ. The third type is behavior as stack. So, the DQ can be act like a stack when the insertion and deletion will be taken place at only one end and restricted in another end, okay? That means the DQ act like a stack when both insertion and deletion are restricted from the same end. Okay. See, in this end, we cannot insert or delete. And the another end, we can insert or delete. That is rare side. If we insert and delete at rare side, then the DQ will act as a stack. And the fourth type is behavior as Q. The DQ will act as a Q when the insertion from one end and deletion from another end see in this end that is a rare side insertion will taken place and front side deletion will be taken place right so in this situation the dq will act as a q normal q and next let us see the operations on q uh, here uh, we will see the insertion at front and deletion from front and the insertion at rear side and deletion from rear side. So, these four are the major operations on DQ. After that, let us see the is full and is empty. Okay, these 
so are used to, to check whether the dq is full or empty right the first operation is insertion at the front end front end means the front side we are going to insert a new item right so initially if the q is empty initially the q is empty then directly we can change f equal to 1 sorry f equal to 0 0 is the starting index right so 7 will be inserted here so there is no problem front equal to rar equal to 0 now and suppose the front pointer is somewhere here okay initially some values are there for example a now i want to insert a new value in the front right now what i have to do the front index should be decremented by one and in this empty space i can insert a new item okay now f equal to this point f equal to decremented by one because this is the front end suppose the front is already in zero point the front pointer already in first index now what we have to do the front will be moved to the last index that is n minus 1 n minus 1 means the index starts from 0 so totally 5 numbers are the size is 5 totally 4 index hence n minus 1 equal to 4 so the front move to the last index here we can insert the new item okay so the procedure is check if the queue is full or not if the queue is already full then we cannot insert a new item hence print overflow right overflow message will be printed out else if q is empty if q is empty then we have to insert at first position that is print equal to q equal to rare then we can insert the data item right both refer at the front element otherwise if q is zero if q is zero then the front should be n minus 1 okay so the final index will be uh, changed to the front end right so in that place we can insert the second one is insertion at the rare end that is we are going to insert a new item at the rare side this side right see initially we need to check whether the queue is full or not if the queue is full then then definitely we cannot insert new item hence print overflow message okay in second condition we need to check whether the queue is empty or not if the queue is empty then uh, both the front end and rear end equal to zero that is the first index in this place we can insert our new data item right otherwise add one number into the back that is rare should be implemented here in this place we can add new item suppose rare is pointed here that is n minus 1 rare is pointed to n minus 1 then the rat should be reset to 0 that is rare should come here for example here the the datas are like this 0 5 8 10 15 okay and these pointers are 0 so this is front and this is rare the rare is pointing to n minus 1 right so now we need to insert a new data item hence rar will be reset to 0 rar will be reset to 0 here we can insert our new data item for example 9 okay so this is how we can insert a new data item at the rar end the next one is deletion at front end okay see um, we need to delete in the front side front side right so before deleting any item whether the queue is empty or not if the queue is empty there is no item in the queue then we cannot delete any item hence we can print underflow message okay else rare equal to print equal to minus one if there is only one item if there is only one item in our queue here we have some data okay print equal to rar equal to 0 friends presently only one item is there next what we have to do print delete that item print equal to rar equal to minus 1 we need to do 
okay if only one element the q has otherwise front equal to 0 if front size is minus 1 okay suppose front is pointing here if the front is here then we need to delete at front end right so this item should be deleted and front will come back to f equal to 0 this item okay otherwise raise the front by 1 initially it was here write the front pointer by 1 and delete this side okay so this is deletion at front end deletion at rear end okay that means we need to delete from this direction okay this is front end and this is rear end before deleting any item from the queue we need to check whether the queue is empty or not if the queue is empty, then we can print underflow message. That is front equal to minus 1. If front equal to minus 1 means what? There is no item. Then we can print underflow. If the queue has only one element, then we need to remove that. Suppose if we have only one element, then f equal to r equal to 0 now, then we need to reset f front value and rear value equal to minus 1, right? And this should be removed. Now, the queue is empty. Okay, only one element. And if rar equal to 0, if rar equal to 0, rar is in this place. Now, the rar is in this place. We need to delete this item. Now, what will be the rar value? rar will point in this position n minus 1 the rar pointer will be moved to n minus 1 okay otherwise rar will be decremented so rar may be somewhere here and rar value should be decremented and this pointer will be removed okay now let us see the operations to check whether the q dq is empty or full right see the first one is is empty function so this is a boolean function which is used to check whether the q is empty or not that is dq is empty or not so here if the front points to minus 1 okay that is the front pointer value is minus 1 then we can declare the dq is empty and the next operation is is full operation this is also a boolean function which is used to check whether the DQ is full or not. Here we need to check two conditions. First, if front equal to rar plus 1. If front equal to rar plus 1, then we can declare DQ is full. Otherwise, if front equal to 0 and rar equal to n minus 1, okay, then the DQ is full. Right? See, these two conditions we can declare, uh, we can determine whether the q is full or not and when come to dq all the operations so we have seen six operations right all the operations um, the complexity is o of 1 okay next let us see the applications of dq it can be useful for both stack and queue isn't it and uh, it helps to check whether the string is polyndrome or not. Okay, that. Okay, all stack applications will come here. And simultaneously, all Q applications also application of DQ. And the third one is it helps multiprocessor scheduling by implementing the ASTL algorithm. Okay, and DQ are useful to efficiently manipulate data at both ends so which are the applications are using uh, for this sliding window polyndrome checking and managing data in real time streaming applications so in these applications we can implement dq dq data structures okay so far we have seen the dq that is double ended queue here uh, we have seen the definition of dq and types of dq there are four different types of the input restricted, output restricted, and DQ will act as a queue and DQ will act as a stack, right? 
after that we have seen the operations that is six important operations the inserted front deletion from front inserted rare deletion from rare and then to check whether the queue is full or empty for that we we, need, we have two separate operations and then we have seen the applications okay in the next class we will see another important topic from second unit thank you